నమస్కారం ద నెక్స్ట్ పద ఆఫ్ శ్రీ కనకదాస హూ ఇస్ అ హరిదాస అండ్ హూ ఆస్ కంపోస్డ్ ఇన్ కన్నడ లాంగ్వేజ్ రెండు తీసుకుంటూ ప్రసన్న దిస్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ పద ఐ థాట్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ కన్నడ లాంగ్వేజ్ అండ్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ అ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ మీనింగ్ విచ్ we humans have to understand and as much as possible follow so i thought i will interrupt before the song and give you the uh, essence of this song and here uh, i should say the credit goes to shridhariya bengas he insisted that she should sing this song and the other credit is in uk the song has not been sung by anyone whether it's professionals or students or anyone or some friends anywhere so uh, i'm very pleased that shridhar has selected this and uh, it is uh, called yesu kayangala kalam 84 laksha jeeva rashiyannu daati banda ee sharira so i'm going to give a just the meaning of this song dasa sahitya literature of haridasa is a very important milestone in medieval kannada literature it is a devotional movement where haridasas composed lyrics in praise of lord vishnu the protector of the universe in hindu mythology these haridasas believed that they can reach god easily through nado pasana and hence sang their lyrics with great devotion kanakadasa is a great haridasa whose compositions are known for its rich philosophic content coupled with life experiences in this composition he says that through nado pasana he is trying to get liberation from the cycle of births and deaths he says particularly yesu kayangala kaleva 84 laksha jeeva rashiyannu daati banda ee sharira if i have to literally say the meaning of this before we take the form of human beings we would have gone through 840000 times of life and a birth and death cycles that's what it means so he says that after so many births in so many forms a jeeva gets the human form and this human can get liberation by totally surrendering to lord mahavishnu and also in the song if you follow that it will come no amount of pilgrimage like visiting kashi rameshwara kanchi whatever it is uh, holy places and taking a dip in holy rivers like ganga yamuna godavari sindhu kaveri whatever it is will rid the humans of their bondages its dispassion and detachment and realizing that the whole universe is within one's own self with total surrender at the feet of the lord is the sole way for emancipation that is the essence of this song and if you follow through it uh, you can come across all the names of the holy places pril pilgrimage the names of the rivers and finally the arishad varga what we humans possess to give up with the arishad vargas so finally to surrender at his feet and get liberation that is the meaning of the song she is going to sing this in madhyamavati ragam sach to chatusra ekata thank you
Thanks. 